In today's video we're going to review the Type G axe as sold by Medieval Fight Club. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes, you'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture, you'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyse historical events, what happened, who were the key players and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. Right here guys, this particular uh, axe head, the Type G, also very similar to the Wheeler Type 4 axe. So the two different main typologies. You'll find these relate to a, um, a find in Denmark, the city of Mammon. Uh, I believe that's how it's pronounced, and uh, please forgive me if I'm incorrect. It goes back to approximately 950 through to 1000, uh, and there are currently finds available in the Museum of Denmark. Even looking at this axe head, let's let's talk about it. The cost price was around, I think, 40 or so dollars. It has a 18 and a half centimeter blade. Let's take a little look at that. So you can um, you can see the nice curvature on the blade. This is not reenactment safe, this is a sharp axe head. If you want to make it reenactment safe, you're going to have to trim down the corners and you're going to need to blunten the blade, otherwise it's, it's okay. Um, look at the profile of the axe there. There we go. It's a nice thin axe head, really, really good. Um, I believe very historically accurate from what I've been able to find. I like this axe head. It's, it's not obviously a dedicated fighting axe, uh, nor does it look the Hollywood type style of axe which you sometimes see on the screens in the TV series. This is much more of a realistic um, utilitarian axe head. So you'd use this sort of axe to butcher animals, to cut meat, to cut wood, to um, around the campsite, around the encampment. You would use this very much to defend yourself and fight with. So. I believe perfectly reasonable and feasible as an axe head um, and I think this is really really good. I did recently a video just up here and that is the uh, the link to how to haft an axe head. Also well, no, Medieval Fight Club I believe is a really good company to deal with. They're quite knowledgeable um, and let's take a little look at a couple of pictures of this in iconography. So you can see this was an axe that was used, we can see it um, in, in the Linders farm, there's a carving of it and you can also see it in the Bayou Tapestry as used by one of the Scarls. I think it's a very interesting axe, uh, I like it, it's, it's very easy to use, you could definitely use this with a shield and we'll do some videos in the upcoming weeks about axe and shield use and I really like this axe uh, from a price point of view, $40, I think it's very reasonable. Uh, it's a lightweight axe, it's very easy to use, it's very functional, I really like that too. I like the fact that it looks realistic um, and I like the fact that it comes from a company that cares about their customers. So I'm giving this 9 out of 10, this is a fantastic piece of kit and I really really like using it. Okay guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe and share, I'll catch you in my next video.